Seven places women want to be touched. Have you ever wondered about the secret places women wish their partners knew about? This question isn't just about curiosity. It's about the desire to understand, to connect on a deeper level. Relationships, you see, are like intricate dances, where each partner learns the other's rhythm, learns to anticipate their movements. The cornerstone of a healthy relationship is understanding each other's desires. Physical touch is the language of love that doesn't need words. It's a way of saying, I see you, I appreciate you, and I cherish you, without uttering a single syllable. It's a universal expression of love and affection, a way to communicate the unspeakable depth of your feelings. But here's the catch. Not all touches are created equal. Understanding where your partner wants to be touched can make all the difference. So are you ready to learn a new dance? Stay tuned as we unfold the seven places women want to be touched. Physical touch, a language of love that often goes unspoken. It's a universal form of communication that transcends boundaries and cultures. In the realm of relationships, touch carries a significance that is often overlooked, yet it's an integral part of the connection between two people. It's an unspoken dialogue that fosters closeness, builds trust, and enhances emotional connection. Just think about it. A simple, gentle touch can convey a multitude of emotions. Love, empathy, comfort, reassurance. It's a silent communicator, expressing things words often fail to capture. It's a powerful tool that, when used right, can deepen the bond between partners and create a sense of security and intimacy. Touch is a language that needs to be learned, understood, and most importantly, respected. It requires a level of understanding and sensitivity that comes with time and experience. So let's dive into the journey of exploring these special places. Firstly, we venture into the luscious locks, the hair. There's something quite enchanting about the hair, isn't there? It's more than just strands of keratin. It's a canvas of personality, a symbol of identity. Now imagine running your fingers through it. This simple gesture can convey a sense of comfort a promise of companionship. But why is this so? Well, the scalp is teeming with nerve endings. A gentle touch sends a ripple of sensation, sparking a feeling of relaxation. The hair then becomes a bridge, connecting two individuals in a web of shared experiences. And there's a certain emotional component to it as well. Playing with someone's hair can foster a sense of trust and intimacy. It's like whispering a silent message, a secret shared between two hearts, two souls. So next time you find yourself lost in the sea of your partner's hair, remember this. The hair, an often overlooked but deeply intimate area of connection. Next, we explore the hands, the silent communicators of affection. Holding hands is more than a casual gesture. It's a profound symbol of connection, a silent pledge of togetherness. Have you ever noticed how your heart flutters when your fingers intertwine with those of someone special? How it can make you feel safe and cherished? This simple act of touch is a powerful expression of love, comfort, and unity. Holding hands can convey so many emotions without uttering a single word. It can speak volumes about your relationship, revealing the depth of your bond. It can whisper comfort during trying times, shout love in quiet moments, and sing harmony in the chaos of life. Each handhold tells a story, each squeeze a secret shared between two hearts. The hands may be silent, but they speak the language of love fluently. They communicate emotions that words often fail to capture. The hands, truly a silent but potent language of love. Now let's delve into the small of the back, ears, and feet. Imagine a gentle hand placed on the small of your back. It's not just a comforting gesture, it's an intimate connection, a silent communication of trust and protection. The small of the back is a delicate spot, a soft curve that subtly calls for attention. A light touch here can send a ripple of emotion, a signal that says, I'm here with you. Moving on to the ears, a whisper, a soft breath, or a gentle caress can create a symphony of sensations. The ears are an often overlooked erogenous zone, sensitive to the slightest touch, and capable of stirring deep-rooted emotions. They're not only for hearing sweet nothings, but also for feeling the warmth of affection. A soft nibble or a delicate stroke can send waves of pleasure, expressing love and desire in a unique and intimate way. Finally, let's talk about the feet. 
often hidden away in shoes and socks, there's more to feet than meets the eye. They're connected to various parts of the body through a network of nerves. A gentle foot massage can not only relieve stress, but also evoke a sense of tranquility and warmth. It's a way of saying, let me take care of you. Each of these places, the small of the back, the ears, and the feet, carry their own allure. They're like secret codes waiting to be discovered and understood. Touching them can create a myriad of sensations, each unique, each significant in its own way. They hold the power to express love and desire in a manner that words often fail to convey. It's not just about the physical aspect, it's about creating a connection, an intimate bond that transcends the physical realm. It's about understanding the language of touch and how it can be used to communicate the deepest of emotions. While these might seem unconventional, they hold a charm of their own. Finally, we reach the collarbone and the inner thigh. These two places, often overlooked, are troves of sensitivity and emotional connection. Let's begin with the collarbone, a delicate, often exposed area. It's a bridge between the heart and the mind, serving as a physical representation of the connection between emotions and thought. The collarbone is a soft, often ticklish area that, when touched gently, can send shivers down the spine. It's an intimate spot, one that's close to the heart both literally and metaphorically. A gentle caress here, a soft kiss there, can evoke feelings of closeness, of being cherished. It's a place where one can express their desire subtly, yet powerfully. Now onto the inner thigh. This area is one of the most sensitive parts of the body, filled with nerve endings that respond to the slightest touch. It's a place that's often hidden, rarely touched in non-intimate contexts, making it all the more special. The inner thigh, while more sensual in nature, also holds the ability to express deep desire and intimacy. A slow, deliberate stroke on the inner thigh can ignite passion, heighten anticipation, and deepen the bond between two people. These two places, the collarbone and the inner thigh, hold a potent blend of sensitivity, emotion and desire. They are places that, when touched with respect and care, can evoke feelings of love, desire and connection. They are places that can be explored in moments of quiet intimacy or in the throes of passion. But remember, every person is unique, every touch is different. What works for one may not work for another. It's important to communicate, to understand your partner's likes and dislikes, their comfort zones and boundaries. In the end, it's not just about where you touch, but how you touch. It's about the intention behind the touch, the emotions it conveys, the connection it fosters. These places, often concealed, hold the key to unlocking deeper levels of intimacy. Understanding your partner's desires can open doors to a deeper connection. We've journeyed together through the seven places women want to be touched, each a testament to the power of physical connection. But as we've discovered, it's not just about where you touch, but how, when, and why. Our first stop took us to the hair, a place of tenderness and intimacy. We learned that a gentle caress or playful tug can communicate affection and desire. Then we ventured to the hands, where every intertwining of fingers is a silent promise of support and togetherness. We then explored the small of the back, the ears, and the feet. Each of these places, often overlooked, hold deep reservoirs of sensation. We found that a comforting hand on the small of the back can provide a sense of security, a whisper in the ear can ignite passion, and a foot massage can offer relaxation after a long day. Our journey culminated in the exploration of the collarbone and inner thigh. These places, brimming with sensitivity, can stir up a whirlwind of emotions when touched with love and respect. But remember, every touch should be a dialogue, not a monologue. It's about understanding your partner's needs and desires, their comfort zones and boundaries. It's about learning the language of their body and responding to it. Communication is key. Express your intentions, ask for consent, and respect their response. Be attentive to their reactions, both verbal and nonverbal. Understanding your partner goes beyond just knowing where to touch. It's about recognizing their emotions, respecting their boundaries, and responding to their needs. It's about creating a safe space where both of you can explore and express your love. 
So next time you want to express your love, remember touch speaks volumes. It's not just about the physical act, but the intent behind it. It's about understanding and connection. And that, dear friends, is the true power of understanding.